Can I heal you up? No, don't die, Nazgul! This has to be the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life! What is up guys and welcome to the Beyond Sun and my name is Shanks and today we are playing the BFME 2 campaign in the Edain mod War of the Ring. For the first time ever, we're gonna play with the Mordor against Lothlorien. And I also never played the War of the Ring before, so it's gonna be hopefully fun. The Dark Lord Sauron must reclaim the One Ring. With its power unleashed, he will dominate all of Middle-earth. The destruction of Middle-earth must continue. Ringbearer survived, Moria. Now a grand army must be formed to help Sauron conquer Middle-earth and reclaim what is rightfully his. All of Middle-earth will kneel before Sauron. Okay, so finally, Saruman stopped talking and we will be able to jump right into the first mission, Lorien. And of course, like in the War of the Ring, you can also, you know, if you are a lazy person, you can also auto-resolve. But we are not here for auto-fighting, you know what I'm saying? We are going inside the genes in real-time fighting. Okay, I mean, it's been a really long time since I actually played the Evil Company of Me 2 the last time. I think it's been like 10 years at bare minimum. And I want to see how it feels like in the Eden mod. Okay, so Mouth of Sauron has to stay alive, that's very important. We can also now build the Moria Tunnel. And we're gonna be placing it right here. Just why not? So Mouth of Sauron has to survive. That's this dude, by the way. And we have also two Nazgûls. They have also different pictures. The Dark Marshal with 3500 HP and 260 melee damage. And also... Yeah, they are pretty much the same. The Shadow Lord and the Dark Marshal. They are also very uh, communicative, you know, they like to talk a lot. Okay, we have the loot mine. We're going to be building that one up. And then we can also build the cage, which is un unavailable, unfortunately, in this mission. That means we can only build the ruin, which we can use to recruit some additional goblin warriors. From the power points, we have the chance to pick up the drum of the Misty Mountains, which will give us more movement speed um, and also more damage output as long as the drum is active. And we have also the chance to go for the keypads, which will make the enemy units lose a little bit of their armor. Okay? But we're gonna pick up, of course, the drum. Dum, 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 dum. Get moving, builder. Get moving, builder. Where is my builder at? My builder is gone. But we can recruit definitely some warriors. We have a lot of money. We can also recruit the Moria Goblin Drummer. Pikeman, Archer, Drummer, I don't know, I'm gonna do every, everything anyway. Who cares? Okay. And we can only recruit one of these pioneers, construct tunnels to the, uh, to the Orc realms of Gundabad and Goblin Town. Limited to one, so we can only get one of them. Are only able to build one tunnel, each existing tunnel increases the cost of new tunnels. Okay, now we can build one more of these. Right here on the spot. I think you can build as much as you want, but we need a bit more money. I mean, this guy likes to talk a lot, actually. Hey, it's my channel, man. I'm talking here, okay? Select one of the build spots, then build a monster cage. Okay, now we can build it. But first of all, I want to build more of these loot mines. Again, uh, the point of a dying mod is to make it on the beef me to rise of the witch king engineer but basically you will get the chance to play like beef me one styles we have like the building spot and it's not um build wherever you want situation like you have in normal beef me too in normal rise of the witch king so we can now build the monster cage if only 600 available command points so we need to be kind of careful i'm gonna actually cancel those goblins because i would rather uh, you know i would instead like to recruit some monsters Palanty of the Dark Yards. So, this guy has actually a crazy set of abilities, dude. Holy quacamole. Mount this mount. But he's level 1 only. This guy can also get dismounted. Threat Visage. 
uh, nearby enemy units lose all leaderships, deal 10% less damage, and also receive 10% less armor. For each additional ring rate with the same effect in this area, the debuff is increased by 5. So you can see it's a very detailed mod, you know? And we can recruit the Great Beast, which is of course like um, a siege weapon. And we will not do that. We will actually recruit the Cave Draws instead. Again, I have zero experience in this mod yet, boys. So don't blame me, please, in the comment section down below. I'm also not aware of the hotkey. So I will have to, you know, click with the mouse button all the time. Also, objective. This guy can also fight with the rock or with the, with the fist. You can actually use the rock. Your forces are ready. Select your units and attack the two elven tree houses near the river crossing. Okay. I mean, we cannot recruit any more units anyway, so we can now just go ahead. <laughs> I don't know, man. That looks a little bit confusing to me, but I like that. Again, dude, I don't know how many months, I mean, how many years it's been since I played the evil campaign, and it looks phenomenal, by the way. The map design. Oh, look at them flanking us. Hey, hey, hey. Does he have pikemen? I don't see any pikemen. So my Nazguls can actually keep trampling. Yeah, boy. We have a Nazgul. I'm going to use aggressive stuns with every single one of them. Because I'm a fighter. And I think we have no way of increasing the command points any further. Right now. We can't. But what we can do is we can recruit more of these. And then keep building more and more. So basically this camp is like an outpost in Div Me 1. We have not many spots available. Destroy the two elven tree houses near the river crossing. I will, I will, man. Chill, relax. You can also use the drum. The rum, 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 the rum. We need to make sure to not lose this dude, though. I think what I'm going to be doing is to get dismounted with every single one of them. So that's going to make them walk, you know, simultaneously. Because if otherwise, they will be just way faster. Can I eat? Oh, yeah, I can eat. Eat, 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 eat. Oh no, he, they killed him, man. They killed him. We need more of them. More of them. We actually end up losing this fight so hard. It's unbelievable. And maybe I should have gone for the Keef Bats, but I want to save up for the scavenger if I can. Now, I don't know about how many power points you can actually collect in a mission like this. Because normally, who is this? They are invisible, these elven plebs. That's the problem. Okay, I can build one more. I'm going to build actually one more right on this spot. So I can produce way faster. And in this one, we can actually only build production buildings, you know? Look, this guy's running. Who is this person? Why have we left him alive? Rimley. Oh, it's a hero. And he will get in safety. There is another hero. These guys are tanky. Look, they are not to be killed, man. They are kiting us like crazy, dude. We need more trolls. I believe the trolls are going to be the way to go when it comes to kill those structures. So, this one, the goblin drama, is of course a unit sport in the dark. Moria goblins bruised over their defeat at the Battle of Azanubizar. <laughs> Licking their wands and plot. <laughs> that sounds... Uh, don't say that, to be honest. Okay? I mean, I've not seen any calf, so I don't think we need to recruit any pikemen. At least not for now. But, but we can definitely... Recruits. I mean, the problem is they cost actually 90 command points each, those goblin archers, you know? 90. And for one goblin warrior in terms of command points, I can recruit one troll. And I would... I mean, there is no world in which a goblin warrior squad will be more useful in compare to... Uh, you can only build one of these. And also, the building disappeared. <laughs> Funny. Okay, it's, it's fine now. Alright, we make a troll army, a monster army. Now we have enough trolls, I believe. And now we can just go ham. Because I guess that these gonna shoot us down. So with this many trolls, we should be able to burst them and destroy them in a few seconds. Okay, not too much damage, to be honest. And also the Nazgûs, including Mouth of Sauron, are kind of sloppy when they are on foot. But it should be fine. Nice, so... The one thing I'm wondering about is if we could get the chance to keep those units and heroes in the upcoming missions of the campaign. Remember in Beef Me 1, that's one of the main reasons why I like that. Because you can kind of get like a relationship, like a connection. No place to hide.
raise it to the ground. Destroy the hut of Loflorien Karaskalaton found in the northwest corner of the map. Can we destroy this one as well, please? Okay, now we have a more available command points. That's dope. Now I want to recruit one more of these. So your Peonia disappears when you build something with it. And maybe now we will get a chance to build more stuff. So we can destroy the tower. That's very good. I couldn't read the notification, guys. Sorry, my bad. But maybe we can read it here. On objectives. Yeah, destroy. I mean, we know it already. What is this? The bonus objective? We don't know. We don't know yet. Um, but we can definitely recruit more units. We can also eventually recruit these units. Um, improve training. Requires level... What? Very confusing. Alright. But we're going to be building up one more of these. And you can hold it with your left mouse button and then you can rotate it the way you want. I mean, you can do that also in the Rise of the Witch King. And again, that gives you the chance to use all the features of the... You know more newer games because pfm and rise of the witch can have way more possibilities way more macro and also futures you know which pfm one unfortunately it doesn't have so them building uh, give me one style of a mod on rise of the witch king is pretty smart i need to say the fortress is first move our forces into the tunnel then choose another tunnel from which they will emerge but can i build a tunnel though that's the question Monster cage. Monster cage. This. I couldn't read again. Hmm. Tunnels are limited. Yeah, I mean, I know that tunnels are limited, but I'm just wondering how am I supposed to build the tunnel? That's what I want to know. Anyways, I'm going to spam more trolls, actually, for now. And even more trolls from this. More trolls from this. And then we can just go ham. We have, like, no money left anymore. I have like this dude now. And maybe that's gonna be the dude who needs to build a tunnel. But these are not... Oh, they are actually tunnels. They are called tunnels. Okay, this is called a tunnel. My bad. Remember what they said at the beginning. So the more you have, the more expensive they're gonna become. Actually not. It still only costs 250. What? They released the cave troll. Okay, it's time to move on, boys. I'm gonna press Q to select all the fighting units on the map. And then we can just E-click to this spot, okay? I mean, the trolls, they are not the fastest units in the game. It looks like they are running, but they are just imitating, you know? Oh! It's like 250 gone. Okay, let's destroy this one first. Let's kill them first. Okay. Again, we gotta keep an eye on our heroes, especially on Mouth of Sauron, who's gonna be the most important hero. In order to get any ability unlocked, you need to be at bare minimum level 4. Morgul Sorcery will... Be unlocked with level 4, he needs to be dismounted to use it. The Mouth of Sauron uses dark magic to defeat his enemies. I believe it's like an evil eye version uh, from Bifemi 2 or in Rise of the Witch King. Oh, we got a giant now. The giant has been freed. Oh, nice. So the giant is going to be much, much greater for the siege. I was about to destroy those plebs, the great beast, but that's the real great beast here. And will we get the chance now to recruit them also? Um, nope. And also, we cannot level up those buildings to level 3. That's not possible. Okay. You guys can move forward to destroy this. Because I need to definitely, you know, recruit one more of these. Our command points are kept. Let's group them all together. And look, you see? The siege weapons, they are so tanky and also pretty much immune to arrow damage. Again, that's brutal difficulty. I'm not gonna play against like medium or easy, you know. <laughs> that's not fun. Okay, let's go. Go, trolls. Oh, you see? They're coming. We need to destroy those towers. That's very important. And they're also very tanky against arrows, but I think there are pikemen, and the pikemen they should be able to deal with them no problem. Just kill the tower. Yeah, boy. That's very good, actually. Holy moly. I mean, if even if you, if you die at this point, I don't really mind. Now, the problem we might actually have here is that we have, like, zero normal units upon the field. Zero. And they have lots of pikemen, and every one of them is pretty much countering our heroes and also units. And I think I'm gonna go for the keef pads. I don't know, man. 
Go with the fist now. Go, 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 go. Why do we tarry? Lurian must fall. I will destroy that, but don't make me hurry up, you know? There is no need to do that. Go, go, go. Destroy the building. It's shooting us all the time. Again, you see? That is Haldir, who is going to also bail just before he gets killed. Can I heal you up? No, don't die, Nazgul. Oh, I could have switched him to all ground stands. Uh, can I revive him, though? Let me check. Uh, no, I cannot revive him either, man. Uh, my bad. I think I'm going to recruit those uh, goblin warriors. And also, eventually, this one. So, I don't know about how much support this actually offers. But it's, I think, very expensive. 300 for a goblin. So, I'm expecting a lot. Let's recruit one of them. Okay, only two heroes remaining, boys. We need to be careful. Because I believe when you lose this dude, um, the mission is over. And you will be defeated. And of course, we don't want that to happen. We won't let this happen. So we have four of these outposts. We can spam them. I believe there are no restrictions to that. Now we will also get some goblin warriors with the poison blades. Uh, we, we have no upgrade potential yet. I want to see the drummer troll. Or the drummer. Dude, look at this cutie. No way. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. This has to be the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Drummer orc. A small tiny drummer orc. No. A fellow units close to the drummer troll will uh, drummer orc will deal 15% more damage and gain 15%. I mean, it's a very small leadership, but it's a very small tiny cute unit. I like this unit. This looks dope. Um, purchase scavenge armor, so you can make him also a bit more tanky if you want to. Okay, we can. I'm gonna actually recruit only the ruin, so we can use this production buildings later on if we need it to spam goblins nonstop. You know. Because we have the troll cages here. We have two of them actually. Two troll cage, monster cage, and then we have three goblin caves. So spam units all the time. Alright, let's keep moving on. I want to check this area just to make sure that there is nothing. Because obviously we need to move to this direction. But, you know, maybe they are looking for a flank damage. And yeah, look indeed, you see. There, is, there are many, many units actually on the field. Look, there is a, they have a giant. Drama of the Misty Mountains. No, 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 no. I, I can't. Oh, it also applies on my trolls, by the way. My trolls also get leadership from it. Which makes them hopefully stronger. Go, go, kill the pikemen. My giant has been freed. The giant has been freed. Yeah, you can scream all you want. Trample them all, giants. Okay, throw rocks now. The giants are kind of crazy units, though. My drummer troll, look my drummer troll. Look, he's kind of... He's... Oh, Speedy Gonzalez too. Oh, but don't kill him. He's so weak. Okay, just destroy the buildings. Again, we can give numbers to this building. So we can keep producing number... Four, five. Okay? Let's set waypoints. Then spam. That's how you play in Rise of the Witch King. I'm not used to it because I'm a BFM1 player. But in BFM1, when you play BFM1, guys, in multiplayer or single player, you are actually grouping your, your units, your army. You give them number one, number two, number three. But in this game, you actually give the numbers to your production building. So you can actually... Uh, spam way faster. I mean, this game feels to be way more about spam. I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about the Edain mod because I don't have experience yet, but I'm talking about BFM Between the Rise of the Witch King. It feels much more about spam than about actually keeping your units alive for a long duration. Expensive but useful units you want to keep eventually from the beginning of the game until the very end and make sure to not lose them. It's a little bit different playstyle. Okay, now we can go to this location. This guy keeps drumming. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. I knew it. Kill his towers. Yeah, boy. Um. What am I supposed to do now about that one? Oh, man. Why do we 
I mean, we are kind of we are kind of doomed here, by the way. Mm. Let's use Keith pads on them to debuff them. Oh, sorry. Oh boy. I mean, the problem is. Hmm. I also need to recruit units from this, but I'm kind of command points kept. Go goblins, go, go, go. Oh, my Nazgul, the Shadow Lord. Oh, of Sauron, what are you doing, bro? I give you hold, hold crown stance so you don't make any shenanigans yourself. Be careful. I cannot lose you. Again, I'm against brutal boys. It's not, it's not like medium or something. I'm gonna get one drummer troll here. Few of them. Few of them. You have slain Haldir finally. I didn't even pay attention. Die, Haldir. Drum of the Misty Mountains. It's time for drummer troll party. But I'm losing my base in the meantime, which is not the best thing in the world. Maybe I can try to defend this with these two trolls. Maybe. Again, bring more reinforcements to the spot. The reason why I'm recruiting actually normal goblins instead of goblin archers is because I wanna have like melee damage. Damage because I have like enough siege power, right? So I don't need more siege. Let's destroy this tower with this giants. The range is kind of nutty. Look how from how far you can actually shoot. The problem is we lost the Nazgûls, which is very unfortunate because they also were offering us the uh, the debuff on enemy units, making them weaker. But it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Okay. All right, go cool, guys. You also can support this, and we will be able to defend the stack. No problemo. Okay, I want to cancel this actually when I think about it. And also, this one can be cancelled. Okay, my, my giants, um, you guys throw rocks from a far distance, including the trolls too. We, they can do the same. Mouth of Sauron, you please go back. I mean, here you have like no abilities at all because you are you need to be at bare minimum level 3. And again, losing him would be. To pretty much like the end of the game and we don't want this to happen okay just kill this because i can always bring more units now for sauron should be in a good spot if they, they will kill my giants though they, they will kill my giants maybe oh there is another hero oh that's celebron be released the Keith troll look there he's walking like a boss boys look at him bad boys bad boys what you gonna do what you gonna do when we come for you okay there's also the stomp you can only use it what is happening some black magic shenanigans okay let's give him normal stance aggressive stance for the archers and then we can just debuff them so celebron i want to kill you so badly i don't know if i can kill you but I'm, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. We release the cave trolls. Oh! Oh! I'm shameless. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, I lost, I, I lost that one, guys. I mean, I wouldn't have lost this. I was just not paying attention, and that's the thing, you know. In those missions, I'm telling you, it's the same thing about Give Me One. In those missions, I would rather keep the hero that has to be kept alive behind everything else. Everything else. But I was so overwhelmed with all the changes they have done, and I was just trying to read this, trying to spam this, you know, micro this, macro this, that I didn't pay attention to my hero for a... For 10 seconds and unfortunately the husband and the wife celebron and his wife galadriel smashed mouth of sauron like aragorn did in the films anyways it was hopefully still enjoyable for you guys and let me please know in the comment section down below if you want to see more war of the ring modes mod in the edine mod for bfme to the rise of the witch king if yes let me know in the comment section down below if you still enjoyed this video despite the fact that i was getting defeated then make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep fitting like a truck. And as always, 
Stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.